Hey everybody, Patton here. Welcome back to the channel. So Defcorns has done it again. He has made it even easier for you to change the themes on your NES and SNES Classic with the help of CompComs options menu. We have the options menu theme selector. What this does is change your theme and you can change the menu music and you can make it randomized or you can pick specifically what theme you want to go with what folder. Not only that, he's made it a lot easier to get themes by implementing an online download modification. So it's highly recommended that along with the options menu theme selector, you have the Wi-Fi mod installed. If you don't, that's okay. He's got you covered. So as always, the first step is to hack your system. I'll have a tutorial on how to do that in my description. Next, you'll need three different files. You need the theme selector HMOD, CompCom's option deluxe menu, and the WPA supplicant mod. This is for Wi-Fi. If you're not doing Wi-Fi, you won't need this third one. You're going to take all three of these files, drag them right into HackGCE. The install extra module screen will pop up and all we have to do is check each one of these and install them. So if we scroll all the way to the bottom, you can see all three mods, the WPA supplicant, options menu theme selector, and options deluxe. So you're going to put a check next to each one of these, then hit the OK button. You'll see a gray bar up here on your screen. Once it fills in all the way, it means these mods are installed to your system and they're ready to go. So if you aren't using Wi-Fi, you have a couple extra steps that you have to do. You'll have to manually place the themes either on your NAND or on your USB flash drive. To access your NAND, go to Tools and hit Open FTP Client. That will open up what looks like a folder. Once you're in that folder, you have to navigate through these folders, var, lib, Hackchi, rootfs, user, share. In the share folder, you're going to create a themes folder. And depending on what system you're using, you may have an SNES folder or an NES folder. When you enter that folder, this is where you place your themes. If you're using USB drive, it's a little bit easier. You just go to Hackchi, and then this next folder is where you create your themes folder. Go in there, and you'll have to manually create your NES or SNES folder depending on what system you have. So we'll go into our SNES folder and this is where we'll put our themes if we're using USB. So once again, this is what you're looking for if you're going to be putting your themes on your NAND and this is what you need for USB. You'll just download the themes from the site that I have linked in my description and drag them in here. Now, if you want a specific theme to be associated with a specific folder such as Nintendo theme for your Nintendo games, there's a couple more steps. Hit the structure button in Hackchi and go to your customs folder manager. The folder where you keep your theme has to match the folder where you keep your games. Not only that, you have to use all lowercase letters and any spaces you have has to be changed to an underscore. I'll put an example up on the screen what you need to change the folders to. What I recommend doing is right clicking into your themes folder creating a new folder. Go back to your folders manager, click on one of your folders so you can edit the title, copy it, go back to your newly created folder, paste the name, and then you can adjust the name as needed. So to match this folder right here, this is how your theme folder should be named. And within that folder is where you put your theme files. So one more thing, if you want your home folder to be a specific theme, instead of having a folder like this, you would just name it default, just like that. One word, all lowercase. So if you're using the Wi-Fi mod, it is much easier to do all this. Let's head over to the SNES Classic and we'll start up the options menu. All right, so here we are. Now, if you're using an SNES, you want to hit the L and R buttons to enter the options menu. And if you're using an NES, you want to hold down and B. So you'll see here at the bottom, we have a new option for themes. Hit A on that option. Now you're at the theme selector menu. With Wi-Fi, you're just gonna hit download themes. And if you're not on Wi-Fi, you're gonna hit refresh. So those themes that you added to those themes folders will appear on here. Since we're using Wi-Fi, I'm going to hit download themes. And as you see here, we have a list of all themes available to us with the amount of space they will take on your system if you were to download them. And there's a handy little preview image right next to each one. You will also see default themes right here near the bottom. And depending on what your system is, since I have a USA Super Nintendo, that theme will not be on here. If I were to have a Super Famicom, the US version will appear on here. It'll detect what kind of system you have and then change the themes around for that system. Also, you have the choice here to download all the SNES 
themes for 95 megabytes. Since I'm using a USB drive, I don't see any reason why not. So I'm gonna hit A on the all themes, and then you have a status screen to show you how long each one is going to take. All right, so that's finished. I'm gonna hit B to exit. Now we go back one more screen. You'll see a list of all the themes that we downloaded and I got all the SNES ones, so they're all here. So all that's left to do is to select the theme and hit the A button. Your system will restart and once it comes back, that theme will be selected. So I'm going to select the 80s theme, my system restart, and I'll meet you back here. All right, this is what I'm talking about. This is a really nice theme. So one more thing, if you go back into the options menu, you'll see now there is a settings option. In here, you can randomize the audio, randomize your theme, or you can uninstall the theme and go back to the stock theme. So let's see what I get when I exit. All right, it looks like we have the European SNES theme. That's cool. Go into my RetroArch folder here. Oh, another 80s theme. This one's not too bad. And the icon is the DeLorean. That's great. Oh, now we got the NES theme going on here. All right, we have the Famicom theme. Nice. Oh, here's a cool Legend of Zelda theme in our Genesis folder. And now the Windows theme. I think I'll leave this here then. So there you go, the options menu theme selector. Really, really great job by Defcorns here. Incredibly easy to install any theme you want. Randomize it, randomize the audio however you want. I'm really enjoying this mod. If you're having any issues and you need some support, you can go to Defcorns GitHub for this mod and leave him a message there and he will get back to you. You can also go to his wiki page, which is extremely well done and detailed. He goes through the installation process with pictures and detailed instructions, how to install if you're using the Wi-Fi module, how to install if you're not using the Wi-Fi module, what the different settings do, and he goes into more detail on how to assign a specific theme to a specific folder. This is extremely detailed, so if you have any questions, you can consult this wiki. I'll have a link to it in my description. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.